Hi, I'm Peter Kelmström of Kelmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working on the Contoso phone message content type. In my previous demo, I updated it in the content type hub. And here you see I'm now in the sales site collection and it's been pushed out to that also so that I can continue working with it there. It also gets added to all the places, all the lists where I have used that content type. Something that doesn't get updated though is the views. Any new column that gets added does not automatically get added to the view. Also, if I do update the view here in the app, the, the list template that I created and put here in my list templates, that does not get updated. It will still reference the content type, so you will get the column, but view changes, if you want those pushed out, then there's no, no code way of doing that. Anyhow, now I'm gonna continue working, and as you see, if I add a new item here in the sales phone messages, you'll see that I have the Contoso department there. And in 99% of the cases, when somebody calls the sales department, the value will be sales, of course. So one thing that I should do in this list is also set the default value on that. And that's something that should be done, of course, in every implementation of the phone messages application. I set the default value for the Contoso department column by simply clicking on that here in the column section and then typing in the default value here. So that makes it simple for the user of this application to create new items without having to you know, select the Contoso department. But for now, I'm not going to enter more of these. I'm simply going to modify the default view so that I can see the Contoso department there. And then I will go ahead and tag them. I'll do that by click going into the quick edit view and just tag these with sales. And same thing with the next. And then I'll go over to the IT department. Do the same thing there. Under my IT phone messages, modify the view again. Show the Contoso department field. Go into the edit view. IT and the other one too. I should do it in the HR department too, the same thing. But after having done that, I will go to the search site and um, implement filtering by department in the search vertical for phone messages. That will be my next demo. Thank you for watching this demonstration where I showed you how you could add the newly pushed out column to the views and add some value after. Also, I showed you how to set the default value on the newly created column for each site collection so that the user does not have to fill it out manually every time. So here I'm doing that for the IT department also. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.